Hello, welcome to the Mockup Oasis. Thank you greatly for your purchase and for taking the time out to visit my shop. I have this short video put together so you can know how to use this mockup with ease. I have everything organized for you in groups. That way you won't be all over the place and it will make it easier for you to maneuver through. Okay, so we have your first group where you place your pillow design, the second group where you place your frame design, the third group where you change your colors, and I also added a group here for room lighting adjustments. Okay, so turn it on or off, you know, go in there. Well, I'll show you. All right, let's start with the pillow design. So open the group. You have pillow one, pillow two. Pillow one, you have a smart layer here where it's a place design here. You will go here and double click on the smart layer. It will open a window where you will place your art. All you have to do is drag your art into the file and shape it however you like. You know, you can form it to however you seem fit to your needs, okay? So, it don't have to be perfect for me because I'm just showing you, but definitely just, you know, put the art on there how you will like it. When you're done, you click done. Let me put that back up so you can see. Control T. When you're done shaping your art, putting your art on here, click up here let me move that right there so you can see it more hit done okay and then hit control or if you're on the mac command s okay it will save your art you close that window and voila there's your art on your pillow let me zoom that up some so you can see that see your art is perfectly sitting on the pillow and you do the same thing for pillow two. Pillow two, you have also your smart layer. Double click on that. It will open up the window. Drag your art into there. Shape it how you want. The reason why you don't see my art is because I hadn't turned off. Turn off that window so you can see your art, okay? It got rid of the shaping box. So if you need that to come back, just hit control T and it will come back for you. Okay. So you shape that up how you want. You know, I don't want it too much like that. So let's just do it like this and leave it be. My design is way big on here. I'm just showing you. So when you're done, click done and then hit control S or command S on a Mac. Control S on a window. Once that's saved, close this window and your art is perfectly put on here. Okay. Let's see. Let's turn off that adjustment layer right there. All right. So your design is on here and pretty much it's as simple as that. See? It's as simple as that. Your art is in place. Okay. So that's how you do your pillow and let's go to frame so we will open this group you have here where it's a place wall design you will double click that smart object it will open the window again just drag your art in there way to a load you can turn that off let's hit Control t if you don't want to go through that just make sure you turn the uh, previous art or whatever's in your frame off before you drag in your art okay but if you do drag it in and hadn't turned it off and it do what it did just did just hit Control t and it will bring back your transforming bars i don't know if that's what you call them but yeah once you're done with that hit done Again, control S, it will save it. Close your window and your art is in place. Just like that. It's as simple as that, you know. You don't have to struggle with it or do a lot of manipulation. Just 
place your art in there and you're good to go. All right. So let's show you how to change your room colors. Let's open that. In here, I gave you two options just because when I was playing with it and I did what multiply the colors were so pretty, I felt like I wanted to put that option in here for you. It's not many colors on the one for color with multiply. I think it's like two or three colors, but the colors choices that you do have are beautiful. So I just put that in there just in case you wanted to do it. But to get all the regular colors, that's your first layer right here to say regular colors. So we're going to work with that one first. That's what you see, the regular colors, this gold. So let's open that and you will go to where it say color change here. Click on the color adjustment and it will open up your color adjustment window. So all you have to do is take the slider and change that color to whatever color you desire whatever your heart is content you got your pretty reds your pink purple blues your greens your yellow oranges well you can get some gold in there too which is what you've seen but your oranges in takes you back to your reds so and again let me put that back over here real quick Right there actually just do that all right I want to show you with your saturation you can make that color more neutral or you can make it more bolder where it shows that orange a lot more you know it's up to you and you also have your lightness where you can darken up that color and lighten up that color whatever color you choose okay let's go back to your layers I want to show you as well under here you have depending on what you want to do I put the options in here for you to have the couch light plant light as well as the entire room light so as you can see turn it on it darkens it up turn it off but you can click on this looks like a little crown click on here and your adjustments can come up and you can just mess with that if that's what you if you want to lighten or darken the room but the settings on here you can use that as well turn it on or turn it off same for your plant light you can turn on the brightness for your plant or you can let your plant be dark your couch light you can turn your couch light down to let your art you know shine a lot more or you can leave it bright you know that's up to you I just put that in here for you to have other options to work with to make sure that you create a mock-up design that you actually want okay so that's the regular colors let's turn that off and let me show you the color with multiply it's it's a little dark but it's a beautiful color I had to put this on here for you guys because you also if you see this under here you have room adjustments I put that in there too so you can have option to use that just turn it on it'll brighten the room up for you turn it off and of course you can just go in there you got your adjustment levels adjustment curves your brightness and contrast and you know you can mess with those too if you would like or just use what's already set just turn it on or turn it off okay the colors will multiply you don't have just let me show you I opened that up it's a color change here this is where you will change your colors for the color will multiply again like I said it's not that many colors under the multiply I just liked it and I felt like I wanted to give you guys that option to use if you would like okay so just move this about and you have your beautiful green your winter green money light green then you go into your blues your royal blue that's some more blue greenish i don't know what you call that but it's pretty you know and then it goes back to the winter green so you have you know that option in there where you got some bolder colors and again you can mess with the saturation you know make it bolder lighter however you want want it to be okay make it your art <laughs> 
I put these options in here and made it simple for you, you know, so you can be sure to make sure you're able to personalize this mock-up exactly how you would want it, okay? And same thing in here, you got the couch light. You can turn that off. I had turned it on, you know, to show you that you can do that to make sure that it's showcasing your art more or you know just turn it off it's still showcasing your art so either way and then you got your plant light as well same options as the regular so you close that up we'll turn that one off and again like i say you have your room adjustment let me turn oh wrong turn the regular color back on all right, again, you have your room adjustment here to minimize that. I don't want to have so much open and then have y'all confused. But last but not least, again, your room adjustments. You can turn it on or turn it off. It's up to you. So have fun with this mock-up, you know, personalize it to your desire. I hope with the options that I put on here, it helps, you know, you get the exact color that you need to match your art. And I made it as simple as possible so you don't have to even do much adjusting. So uh, there you go. That's how you use this mock-up. Very simple. If you have any issues, questions, or concerns, please email me. I will get right back with you, help you with whatever questions, concerns, or ideals, or whatever it is you are emailing me about. So thank you for shopping with me. I hope you enjoy this mock-up. Have a blessed day.